Hello everyone. It's a Saturday morning and I felt really pumped. I got a whole eight hours sleep last night and honestly I feel like I could take on the world today. I just realised how important sleep is. Um, anyway, so I felt really enthusiastic. I've got, um, I've got one of my new t-shirts on. I have the beautiful Vegemite and Toast earrings that a very special person bought me, which is absolutely amazing. So thank you for those. Um, and I wanted to show them off because they're so cool. Look at that. Very Australian. <laughs> if you would like to know anything about me, including, um, you know, when I'm going live, what I'm doing, where I am at fairs, everything is in the box below. If you're unsure, you can always reply over to the Aussie Goddess Facebook page and uh, like my page. And I just realised I didn't put the microphone in. And then you can keep up with the with the dalliances with me. All right, so I decided to do a reading today. Some people had said to me about, you know, uh, the whole thing of people coming in, the people coming back from the past. And I wanted to do um, a reading for you. Uh, I feel like for a lot of you, you're sort of starting to question the journey now. So um, if you're not waiting on anybody, you could still watch the sign that you're that will come up and you may still get some information. But mostly for this is for people who have substantial or things from the past that they want to see come back in again. Um, so many of you on twin flame journeys and wondering when people are going to return. So I think I might call it that. Will they return to me? All right, let's write that down. And what I will do is I will put out three cards for each sign to give you a little mini read on each sign. All right, let's see how we go. So we're gonna start off with Capricorn. I'll put the, ca the camera down so you can see what's going on. And we will start off with the sign of Capricorn. Thanks. Okay, so we're at two minutes 20. All right, so I'm turning over the Five of Swords with the Knight of Cups and the Page of Coins. Okay, Capricorn. Some of you walked away from some sort of conflict in the past. There was some sort of upheaval. Um, I feel here this may have been over an offer. There may have been something put on the table for you that you saw as a potential um, offer. I feel really strongly there was some a lot of Im immaturity in this situation a lot of immaturity and perhaps someone pulled back their energy after they'd expressed something to you or it could have been that something took off quite well and then somebody withdrew from this situation ultimately it looks like you moved away from it you turned your back on something um, and i feel like this is sort of sat in the ether now waiting for somebody to either better their offer or come in with a different offer. If you were waiting on someone, there will be contact in the future. Um, I do feel this person wants to strike up something, whether it's the same love offer that they made in the past or whether this is an offer that sort of um, offers friendship or some sort of communication here. Um, I might just put another card down. I feel the world card. There's some, some information here that hasn't come to hand. You're either dealing with someone where there's unexpressed emotion or um, some sort of situation needs to come to full circle here with the world card. And I just realized you can't see them anyway, right? Oh boy. Sorry about that. I got so into the reading, I missed the screen. Um, some sort of communication will come to hand here. Um, I do have the Five of Swords, the Knight of cups and the page of coins so i feel like somebody took action in the past and probably expressed something this may have been you or the other person there was love definitely expressed here but i feel like in the future there may be a possibility of coming together with this person something has to be closed out here though with the world card so the universe is trying to bring something to some sort of close here um let me just pull another card Okay, three of coins. Well, you might have been dealing with someone who was in another situation here with this three of coins. Maybe why they... Oh, and then we have the sun. Okay. Whoever this person is, 
will return. There will definitely be some sort of communication, some sort of closure here, putting some sort of lid on things, I guess. I feel like this person may have been in a situation in the past and not able to ex to it to act on this they may have still expressed themselves here though with this knight of cups but they may have not been able to follow through i feel like you've walked away from it probably preserving something maybe you you know have left this person to their own devices whatever's happened here there needs to be closure on this but the sun is here which says to me this will have a really happy conclusion. I feel like for some of you here, this person will offer you something. Whether it's going to be enough or not, it may not be for some of you, but there will be a resolution to the situation. When the sun comes out, it shines light on everything. So it is bringing things full circle and is letting me know here that whoever this is for you, there will be a resolution of past conflict there will be some sort of explanation, some sort of communication, but I feel like your person hasn't um, hasn't really left something behind here. I still feel that they're clinging to something in the past. Um, but there is a sun here. Possibly you could be dealing with someone who has strong Leo placements here. Um, but whoever this person is, I feel perhaps was not, expressed themselves, but was not able to follow through. I guess that's the best way of putting it. But definitely a communication and some happiness coming forward in the future. Whether it's what you want or not, I think that's your choice. All right, moving on to Aquarius now. make sure you see the cards this time right <laughs> all right that one wanted to come right up Aquarius you have a an emperor here so a seven ten all right what do we have for Aquarius oh wow this is beautiful okay Aquarius your person definitely will return to you they already recognize the connection you have with them um, they are manifesting this back into their lives again and they do see a happy ending here. So the Four of Wands, the Magician, the Emperor. Beautiful energy. I don't really have to add very much to that. I feel like whoever your person is has definitely recognised the connection here with the Emperor card. Look at that. And then you get the Fool. This person wants to take a leap of faith with you. I feel like this person has finally seen something. Page of Coins, there's the offer. This person has seen something here. They've had some sort of realisation. I feel that they are now manifesting this situation back in. So I would expect communication from them, possibly even in Aquarius time. I will leave you with that Aquarius. What a beautiful little outcome for you. All right, moving on to Pisces. I love it when they're straightforward like that. That's really easy to see. I feel like Aquarius that your person has definitely leveled up. All right. Pisces, not so good coming out with the Ten of Swords to start with. There seems to have been an ending here. Knight of Cups. Ah, and a new beginning. Oh, I'm liking that. With the Magician again. Beautiful. I love seeing the Magician because it means someone's trying to manifest something that they've let go of in the past. This could be you trying to manifest this Pisces, but there is an energy here of a new offer coming in. Is it the same person? I will clarify that, but there was an ending here. You've let something go. You had to close something off or it was closed off. Maybe somebody walked away from you, but something closed down and it's made this energy now for this new person to step in. Your person is very spiritual, very in tune here. Um, is it the same person? I don't think so. I think you've got a new person coming in. You have the Hermit and the Hanged Man coming through here. Major Arcanas here. Um, okay, so it looks to me like something closed off in the past. You may have found that a very difficult ending. But what I want to say to you is this ending has made way for something new. Um, oh, wow. Well, okay, I didn't write up the time. Let's just do nine minutes. Um go back and check it 
this person is coming through for you here and they are just in some sort of energy of wanting to move towards you at the moment so spiritually they're in the place where they are moving towards you someone's manifesting what they want in their lives and they're about to come in and make an offer whoever this person is they are new to you they're not the same person you left behind but i feel this person is very is absolutely perfect for you and i feel like the universe is sending them in because you are meant to be with this person but somehow or another you had a lesson to learn with the last person I feel like your new person is just absolutely beautiful and really ready to have a relationship with you all right moving on to Aries Okay, Aries, we have the Seven of Swords with the King of Wands and the Two of Coins. Somebody's making a decision here. This person isn't speaking up at the moment. They're being very quiet. They may have um, they may have ghosted you. They may have left you in the dark. I feel that they moved away to um, improve on their own lives. So they may have gone away to seek out a better job, make more financial success for themselves. But I don't feel in the past they felt ready to be with you. Um, you could have been dealing with a Leo, Sag or Aries in the past. I feel like this person is currently making some sort of decision as to whether they contact you or not. They're trying to bring themselves into balance here. And we have the moon card. Wow, all major arcanas with the high priestess. Holy dooly. Okay, Nine of Cups. There is a wish coming true. This is probably a very positive reading for you, Aries. I feel like somebody is returning to you. I feel that somebody left you behind, maybe ghosted you, never let you know what was going on. This person possibly has had to work themselves through some past energies because they're coming up with this lovely sense of confidence and, um, and very ambitious now. Um, this person is making up their mind whether to contact you or not. I do feel they're trying to bring themselves into balance, but there's been some hidden stuff they've had to deal with in terms of their own psyche. So they may have done some counselling here or worked through some energies, but this person is returning and it's going to be a wish come true for you. So if you've been waiting on someone airy, someone's about to walk in and make an offer or at least make contact with you. Nice reading. All right, moving on to Taurus. That's three times that's dropped now. I think I have to find out a better way to do that, I think, the Aussie goddess thing. <laughs> All right, where are we going? Taurus. All right, Taurus. Eight of coins. Page of coins six of coins wow all pentacles here could be dealing with an earth sign here or this could just be earthy because it's for you too um okay i feel that you have been dealing with someone that you may have met through a work situation whoever this person was was a, perhaps a little immature and i feel was not investing in this situation in the way that you felt was right for you so it's like they may have been half-hearted about it they may not have been open emotionally but very possibly here this person was not able to invest in this relationship the way you were there is this very strong feeling that this person just was not ready for a commitment um, and I feel that they walked away from this situation perhaps because they felt that you had a lot more to offer than what they had to give okay so we have temperance coming through so this person is working on yeah page of wands um it's possible you may um i feel like you may actually sort of inadvertently bump into this person um i don't think that their energy has changed much they may be the sort of energy of someone 
who's still not wanting to settle down. I feel that you still find them very attractive and you still may, may be very drawn to them, but they're still in this very flighty sort of energy here where they're not really interested in commitment. So I feel that you will have contact, but I feel very strongly here, Taurus, that you may really find that the next time around, you may not find this person quite so attractive. So I don't think that yours is going to come off. I feel that you'll realise that this person actually isn't for you. All right, we are going into Cancer energy. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Whoop. Okay, Cancer, the spirit wants to give you those two. We'll pull you another card here. Okay, Cancer, 1540. All right, we have the Ten of Coins with the Seven of Wands and Seven of Swords. Wow. Someone is totally in denial here, not wanting to even communicate. I feel like somebody knows that they've left something behind that was really valuable. But I feel whoever this is, is it closed right off now. Um, the Ten of Coins, Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords. This is somebody that is refusing to speak up, refusing to express themselves um, very stubbornly too, I might add. I feel like whoever this is has realised they've left something behind here that was extremely valuable. Um, they do feel that they've left some sort of abundant situation behind here, but still refusing to speak up, still refusing to express themselves on something. Why is that? Okay, so we have the star card. Wow. And the emperor. Every time I clarify, I get major arcanas. The hierophant. What? What is going on here? There is some sort of destiny here that's supposed to be fulfilled. And I feel like this person knows that with the Emperor card. This person wants something here long term, possibly a long term relationship with you. But they're staying stuck in this energy here of refusing to admit it or refusing to speak up. This is stubborn energy at its best. The universe is saying here, this is, this is part of their destiny. This is something that they need to move towards. There needs to be, the, they need to step into their power here. They need to step into the emperor energy. I feel like here that this person will, king of cups. So you could be dealing with another water sign here, Cancer. And I feel like there is some sort of, I want to say written destiny here for you and this person. But whoever they are, they're just not expressing themselves. They're holding on to something. They could be married here with the Hierophant. But they're, they're stubborn. Stubborn as a mule. And not expressing it, how they feel. I do feel later down the track, though this person does look like they'll get into their heart space here. I feel that with the Emperor and the Star card, there's a possibility they will understand they have a destiny with you. But I feel like it's further down the track here. All right, I'll leave you with that one. All right, moving on to Gemini. Okay, Gemini, we have the Ace of Coins, the Two of Coins, and the Chariot. Whoa. Okay, this is really interesting here. Somebody is looking at tossing up or moving forward with someone, possibly dealing with a Cancer or an Earth sign here. Somebody is making a choice between a Cancer and an Earth sign. 
um, and they can't work out the direction they want to go in. I feel like they're strongly leaning towards because we have two pentacles and only one card here. So I feel that there's a strong draw to an earth sign here, but somebody is trying to work out um, which direction you're go they're going in. Now, because you're an air sign and I'm reading for you, I feel like either you're dealing with someone who has a choice of two people or you are making the choice between two people. Now, with the chariot here, there is forward movement, page of cups, an offer will be made quite possibly to the water sign. So it looks to me like the earth sign sort of winning out here, but they look like they're going towards the water sign here because we have the Ten of Cups page of cups here, which means we've now got more cups on the table. So I feel like someone's making a choice here of which way to go. This could be you. These two people could be significant people. You could be dealing with one of them now and one could be from your past here. If it's the water sign, I see you moving towards them as you see them as your Ten of Cups. Now, when I look at the Ace of Coins coming through with the Two of Coins, there seems to be perhaps someone else in the picture who's more financially viable or more in a position to offer you something long term. But I see you going with your heart here on this one. All right. Leo. Leo, 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 what is going on for Leo? All right, we have the Queen of Cups coming through. You might be dealing with a water sign here, Leo, or you might be loved up. All right, we have the Nine of Swords coming through with the Five of Swords. Whoever you've been dealing with here that you are waiting to return, I feel like there was somebody that either you were greatly and utterly smitten with or they were with you. There's a lot of love in this Queen of Cups, a lot of love indeed. But there seems to have been some conflict and disappointment here. And I feel this is what here has created conflict between the two of you. But I want to say, Leo, that you both still feel the same way about each other. There's very much this energy here of something still remaining despite this conflict that's happened. All right, the world, something has to change. The world with the Seven of Cups. Somebody has to come forward here. Somebody has to express their love in order for this cycle to close. Somebody's got to express themselves here yeah there's a brand new start with the full card okay so if you were dealing with somebody in the past you had a great deal of love for for some unknown reason there was conflict anxiety and somebody walked away i'm not sure if it was you although you do have your back turned here um but whatever happened this situation was pulled pulled apart and there was great disappointment here now, the universe is saying that your person does want a new start. They may not be quite ready at the moment because I feel that they're going through some stuff in their own lives where they're trying to break down something that they needed to let go of. But they will return to you in the future and they will want to take a leap of faith with you. But I feel that they may have to close out some sort of cycle first. You could be dealing with someone who's been dealing with perhaps either another person, another option or some limitations to moving forward here. But I do think your person will be back once their cycle's closed out. I do feel they've got something to let go here. All right, Virgo next. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay, so we have the King of Swords coming out, possibly Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Six of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords. Wow. Okay, so you could be dealing with an air sign here. I feel like that you were dealing with someone in the past who wasn't doing their bit. 
They may have been a little cold, a little standoffish, feel like this person suffered a great deal from anxiety and felt really overcome by this. But there is a, a feeling here that this person perhaps wasn't honest with you about how they were feeling or why they've walked away or moved away from a situation. With the Nine of Swords, I'm feeling this sense of this person was very anxious about revealing who they were or revealing them tr their true selves to you. Um, it could have been a person who was holding back the whole time in the relationship. They could have been holding back emotionally or in a physical way too. But this person now is feeling ready to come forward. This person may have gone on to some sort of, I'm feeling they may have gone to some sort of medication or some sort of um, help here, some sort of support. They may have done counselling, but it feels to me like they've been um, worked out how to work with this anxiety here. And I feel like they're going to come back towards you, Nine of Cups. Yet yeah, you were their dream come true. I don't think that they were coping very well with their emotions at the time. There's a, a great deal of feeling of low confidence, low self-esteem here. I feel like whatever this person's done here, they've sought some sort of support or some sort of energy of, of working through this anxiety. And I feel like they will be back because I do have the Nine of Cups coming through. So it looks like your person will return to you, Virgo. All right, we have Libra next. I don't know why I need to shuffle them so much because I am pulling them at random, but it just feels good to give them a good shuffle. All right, Libra at 26.30. All right, we have the Four of Wands, the Two of Cups, beautiful, hanged man. Okay, so you are dealing with someone in the past who's currently in a little bit of a deliberation. I feel that they want something more with you. They do see you as a soulmate. There is great love here, but they're still on the fence about coming forward. So I need to work out why that is. Whoever this person is sees long-term commitment with you. They see you as being their person. They relate to you in a way where you're both seeing completely eye to eye here. So you have already established a very strong foundation with this person in terms of love. But this person's sitting on the fence trying to see things from a different perspective. They've got the Hermit card here. So they're still in thinking mode with the Eight of Cups. Wow, okay. This person is deciding here with the Strength card whether to walk away from this situation or walk away from another situation here. Um, something that's not emotionally fulfilling them here. We have Temperance. This person, a lot of major arcanas in a few cards here. This person is trying to find some sort of balance here. I feel like on the one hand, they feel this great love, this attraction, this draw to you, this wanting something longer term with you. But on the other hand here, something is holding them back and they're in this sort of paused hermit mode trying to make their mind up. They need to walk away from something here with this Eight of Cups, but they haven't got themselves to that place yet. And it may be a little while longer. Um, this person is channeling their, their, um, themselves through. So they've been dealing here with a lot of past energy, maybe going through some shadow work. Will your person return? I would say to you, they will. Two of Wands coming through. Once they realize this new path is open to them, but they need to come through some sort of realization here. I do see that they see you as something incredibly good, incredibly special, but there is some other situation here that they need to pull away from. I wonder here, you know, with these, with some of these cards, if there's some sort of, it could be shadow work, past energy here, but I also feel they may be dealing with something more than that, maybe some sort of addiction. Um... It could be codependency or it could be an addiction to, ah, uh, okay, maybe an addiction to materialism. Maybe they're in a situation that they're worried about leaving behind because of their financial resources. This person does want to return though, so I feel like they're on the fence with this at the moment, trying to work out whether to follow their heart 
or whether to stay in a stable situation. I'll leave you with that. All right, we have Scorpio next. Scorpio. Ace of Cups, I'm loving it already, with the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Someone's about to come in with a big declaration of love here, Scorpio. Nice, easy one again. Most of them a little bit more complex, but very straightforward here. Somebody wants to put the past down. Somebody does not want to go back to the past here in a sense of talking about it, thinking about it. They just want a clean slate with you. They are coming in to express themselves with this Knight of Swords, so they're on their way already. They are realising they have great love for you, but there's some sort of burden they need to put down. Now, I feel here, when I see this burden card, that there's this energy of, I want to leave things behind. I don't want to be talking about the past. I just want to release it and move forward. So this is, um, this is really important because I feel like this person will not respond if you want to keep going over what happened in the past I think they're going to find that very difficult to do and I do feel that you need to do that when you return to something but maybe saying to them can we just talk about it once and then let it go may be a really good compromise but I feel like they don't want to really revisit any of the pain that went that happened in the past here they want to let it go and start afresh all right Sagittarius Sagittarius. The Hermit card. The Seven of Swords. Ooh, that's tough energy. Knight of Coins coming through. Okay, so I feel like you've dealt with somebody in the past that was not honest with you. Um, it could be that they ghosted you or walked away and never gave an explanation. And I feel this sort of brought you to your knees here a little bit. I feel like this person wants to put things right. I'm not really sure they want to come back into your life, but they do feel a little guilty about what they did and what they left behind. So I feel that they are making their way back to you to give you some sort of truth or explanation. I don't feel love here. I feel like this person just wants to clear the energy. Six of Swords coming through and the Chariot could have been dealing with a Cancer. Um, I feel this person wants to move forward, but not in a romantic sense. They want to either clearly, this person could have been a friend. There could have been a little bit of, uh, a little bit of sexual tension, I want to say, between you and perhaps this person then cleared out when things started to look good. Um, and I feel that this person wants to try going back to being friends again. They want to leave the past behind. They want to move forward. And there's a lot of energy of some sort of apology coming through, but not an offer of another situation. But very much this energy of, um, of wanting to let something just go, bygones be bygones, and allow both of you to sort of become a little bit more comfortable with each other. There could have been a lot of tension, as I said, but I feel that they just want to let everything go and make things right again. Um, but no, it doesn't look like a romantic offer. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me for that very quick little read and I'll see you on Monday.